everyone. I'm Nick. I'm going to show you the second part of my little black bag. So this is my um, November and December little black bag. I think it was like Black Friday into December. Um, and this is, as I said in the last video, this was a $30 bag and a $50 bag that I combined that also had two return items. Um, and I trade it for a week. And then I'm going to show you, this is the second week of trading because I had too many items. I couldn't trade them all in the first week. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, some jewelry items, a bag, and a scarf. I also received, uh, I think it was like five or six samples and three of the body washes, which I'm not going to show you because they're already packaged up to give away as gifts. Um, so I'm just going to start with the jewelry items. So I received these studs. They're the rain triangle earrings. I think they're, uh, you know, very nice, slightly edgy earrings uh, with a nice bronze color. I don't have any bronze earrings at all and I tend to wear a lot of bronze bracelets so it'd be I was really excited to get 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 these. Um they're decent quality. I mean if you look around the edges you can see like the metal has some weird markings on it but I figure you're not really gonna notice anyway because they're just studs. Uh I'll put these in and show you what they look like. So here they are. So I think they're very they're very just nice pretty slightly edgy earrings. I wear tend to wear a lot of studs, so I'm, I'm always excited to pick up more studs. I probably got three or four, maybe even five pairs of studs now from Little Black Bag. So, uh, yeah, really like these. I think they were like, they were mid-20s, like $26 or $28 for the studs. Those were nice. I also received a couple of uh, Lena French items, and I really, really like her jewelry. I think that it's really nice quality, and it also looks really nice for gifting. So I already put this bracelet on because it was it's really difficult to get on. It's one of those bracelets you actually do need somebody else to help you with. Um, and this is the mixed metal chain bracelet. Uh, so it has a bunch of different colors. It has the silver, the gun metal, the gold, um, then same repeating. And then it also has little, little kind of lantern balls attached to them. Um, I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure about the little balls on them in the picture, but I really like mixed metals. I, I, uh, they're probably my favorite way to wear jewelry. Um, and actually, when I received it, I think it looks really nice together. It's really nice quality. Um, I highly recommend this bracelet to everybody. Um, so I'll show you the back. So that's what the clasp looks like. And, you know, I would just say I have somewhere between like six and six and a half inch wrists. And this bracelet's almost at the, the tightest. And it still hangs down, you know, pretty low onto my hand. So if you have really small wrist, this bracelet might not be for you. I think there's a couple left on the site. Uh, so I recommend it for people with medium-sized wrists. So there's that. Lena French bracelet. I think this was $48. I also received, um, these are the, uh, what are these called? Lena French, I don't remember, disc hoop earrings. Called. And I had a similar pair back when I was waitressing in college that I always wore that were a lot like this that I got from American Eagle, and I've been looking for replacements. But these are really close to them. Those ones were a little bit more um, like bronzy kind of color, and these are uh, a little bit more um, chic, just plain gold and silver. So I think they're really pretty. They're really light in your ear as well, so you can wear them for long times. I know I don't like heavy earrings. Um, they're not too long, you know, it just hits just about my jawline. And um, these came packages, they were really cute, came packaged with a little bow on them on the, um, uh, in the package, and it, it just looked really nice to give away as gifts. So if you're looking for jewelry to give away as gifts, I highly recommend the Lena French, because they just have nice packaging. So really pretty, really like those, they were mid-twenties as well. And then I received a couple, um, the By Philippe um jewelry so i'll show you another pair of earrings that i've seen yeah, it's the most earrings i've ever gotten so these are the double threader earrings and i didn't realize i mean i should have realized from the threader earring but they actually so you put them through your ear and i was like aren't they gonna get like a little, a little dirty or something but um once i did it it's really not bad at all so you, you can slide them through i know it's kind of weird isn't it um and then they just hang down. So I thought they were really simple. They're a uh, pretty rose gold. I don't have a whole lot of rose gold jewelry. Um, so I was really excited to get those. And they're definitely nice quality. There's uh, no tarnish or any markings on them. So I like those earrings as well. 
Hey, lots of lots of earrings now for me to wear. And they're really easy to get on and off. They're really, really thin, so you don't have to worry about, you know, them, your holes being too, too uh, small or anything. And then I also received the Rose Gold Solitaire Necklace um, from By Philly Bay. And I love this. I wore this one day. I, just work, I work in the ER, and I wore it with my scrubs in the ER. And I got probably like six or seven compliments on it just in my short eight-hour shift. Uh, so I'll show you this on. So here's it on. So I think it this is um this is actually the longest setting, um and so it hits you know just about just below your collarbone, and um it has such a nice sparkle. Uh, the rose gold's really nice. The actual charm it is a, a full circle, and it's very sparkly. And I didn't realize what vermeil was uh, or however you say that is the French word, um but it's actually I think stainless steel or no it's actually silver coated with rose gold. So it is real metal. I wasn't sure what that was, and when I looked it up, I was, thought that was pretty awesome. So, I think they have a couple other, you know, of these necklaces. They have a gold one, and a silver one, and they have a butterfly, and, uh, yeah, I really, really, really like these. They were getting great offers. Um, so if you can get your hands on one of these necklaces, they're so pretty, and everyone assumed they were, it was a gift from, you know, my boyfriend or someone. I was like, no, I just really like this. So, really pretty. That was all the jewelry I received. And then, so I also received this Steve Madden zigzag scarf. And this isn't my normal style. Um, It has sort of the, it always reminds me of Ghostbusters, like the lime green and purple and black. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to start snowboarding again this winter. And so I really wanted a loop scarf to keep me warm and I can wear as like, almost like a snood. Um, so, this is a really large scarf. Here, I'll show, stand up. So, yeah, it hits, it's really long, and I'm five foot ten, so it's uh, definitely nice, warm, pretty thick. Double it over, and it definitely would keep keep you warm. And I was thinking, this is what I was thinking. I can wear it like as the hood. I can put it over my mouth when it's freezing out. So, um, yeah, I as long as you like the colors. So I'll show you the colors closer. So, yeah, the colors are, I don't really necessarily like the lime green and the yellow and the black and purple together, um, but I thought it would be really perfect because I have this green jacket and I wanted to bring some of the black in without it being solid color. So I really like the scarf as well. Nice and long hoop scarf, and I think there's a few more of those on the website as well. And then I'll show you my bag. So this bag is huge. I did not realize it. Um, so this is the street level top lock satchel so huge 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 um it looks pretty nice the leather was a little bit wrinkled when it came in but i've been hanging it to try to get it to unwrinkle so it's looking a little bit better now and there's also unfortunately um the fake leather's already notched you can kind of see that there but that was the only only thing wrong with the bag i saw so i don't care i'll just keep it um, and this is also really nice because it has a lot of pockets. There's no outside pockets anywhere, but there is, uh, the front zippers and unzippers. So that's the front part of the bag. And then you have the middle section of the bag and the back section also unzippers. And it gives you the, uh, classic street level triangle lining. There's three separate compartments, and then the giant center compartment. It's huge center compartment, and it has a uh, you know the back zipper with the street level, and the two front pockets that almost every purse does. So I'll stand up and let you see this. Let me put this back together. So here's the bag. This isn't even the, on the longest. So as I said, I'm five foot ten and it's still really huge. Um, but I was excited for the taupe. It's a really nice color. I really like it. Um, it's a great crossbody you could wear as normal. Um, yeah, and so that was this bag. Uh, so I am trading again this week, and 
I don't think I'm getting as many items this week. It's not going to be a huge bag. But I'll be happy to show you my next little duck bag as well. Happy trading, everyone.